Hey guys, welcome to Doom 3. I've been kind of dreading making this episode. Well, because you know. Because you know. It's a boss fight. And for you. Marine. So let's see, I got <clears throat> what scientists like to refer to as a metric fuck ton of ammo. Making sure my guns are ready and loaded. Got a lot of B BFG rounds are probably gonna be my biggest friend in this battle. Simply because of what they represent. They represent freedom, doom, destruction. Everything you need to beat up a boss just the right way. Let's see if there's any more ammo I might miss? I guess not. We're Easiest difficulty. If I have to, I will toggle on cheats. If not, <coughs> <coughs> kudos to me. What the fuck is this here? There's nothing even here. I'm taking that back. There is the. <coughs> really? I get BFG cells, some more plasma. Oh! Thank you, my sense of exploration. You might have just saved my ass. So, the boss is called the Guardian of Hell. He is invincible. He's pretty much a golem from Dragon's Dogman that he only has one weak spot. And the rest is just poopy. Unlike the golem. That soul spute looks sexy. You know, the picture on the Doom Wiki yeah, doesn't give you the impression that you're fighting him in hell, because they use like this incredibly platonic background. My guardian will destroy you. So those are our seekers, they have to die. I am kind of sucking because I am not exactly in the, uh... I think I didn't know that. So this guy is blind. Fuck you, Guardian. I don't want to touch that thing because I get the idea that it's going to chop my fingers off or something. Will the real Garden of Hand Hell please stand up? Please stand up? Please stand up? So yeah, the whole strategy is he can only see with the Seekers and he has that dash it, that splash it damage attack so that he can basically fuck you over. Oh, there's all sorts of ammo scattered all over the place. I guess that fits the Doom uh, paraphernalia section. And the Seekers are summoned from a sphere on his back. That sphere is his weak spot, as you could assume. I'm going to pick up these pickups so that I am fully loaded on ammunitions. And so I can enjoy infinite sprint just for a second longer. I think I picked up a, picked up a backpack. That thing really sounds like it's going to chop my fingers off the moment I try to touch it. That's a really fancy effect, to be honest. Look, this one straight down the middle. Wow, what the? We are many. We are one. We are the Brilliant Thor. You know us as the Soul Cube. Free us from our eternal prison, and we will help you. Vanquish our enemies, and we grow stronger. Listen for our call, and then free us to smite down the evil. This is the Soul Cube. This was where evil gives us life and makes us stronger. 
How you doing, guy? Cyber Demon. So, quick rundown of what the Soul Cube does. For those of you who do not know what the Soul Cube does, which is probably a lot of you guys. That's not spooky. This thing works, and why is that thing floating anyway? Um, yeah, there's the Soul Cube. You need to kill five enemies, then you can use it. It fully heals you and does a thousand damage with some splash damage on the designated on the location you're aiming at. It's a pretty damn good weapon, but it takes, but it doesn't have any ammo. It just takes five enemies to kill to get one charge. You can only have one charge at the time, so... If you see a Mancubus, go nuts, I say. Or a Hell Knight. Although, I've learned that Hell Knights are just giant wimps that looks really scary. Mancubuses are worse, because Mancubuses have a shit ton of health, and they have a really powerful fast shooting weapon. Gotta put on a prioritize, you know? Okay. Gotta learn the game, gotta know the strats. In fact, you also gotta know the strategies. You know, I dreaded this boss, and he was released, that's because of... You are too late. Hell no longer needs that portal to enter this world. The invasion you saw was only the first wave. The Hellgate is capable of sending millions of my children into your world. Soon, the fleet from Earth will be here, and with their ships, we will bring this hell to Earth. Wait, wait, I lost all my guns again? What the fuck kind of crappy portal is that? Fuck you, game. Just, really. Just, what the fuck? Still no flashlight. There you go. Hey, I'm an IT guy, not an engineer. Stop moaning. Yes. Eh, it doesn't really do anything. Chain gun! I didn't even get to keep my goddamn ammo! So is this- oh, this goes there, so this must be the extra area. Need some ammo, security armor. Well, I would not say I disagree, but wow, that's the first time. Those are ticks. They're worse than trites. They're not stronger. They're just ex just weird. Oh yeah, the souk so cute flash. I did not know what the fuck I just did. Ah, so it damages enemies as it ah, so it heals me as it damages enemies. So these guys have 20 HP. I don't know how strong their attacks are. They're just worse than ticks. Them trites because they're creepier. I like how any five enemies would just fill the slots, so even these fuckers.
Fucking hell, man. That thing's awesome, dude. I knew that would work. That totally was not a gamble. I don't have any shotguns though, and without shotgun rain, there really isn't any hope. Oh, that's a real lighthearted climb. Ping, 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 ping. I'm half you already, so cute. I don't need you to call out for me again. Ow! Ah! Ah! My eye! My eye is salty. Fuck! You know how your eyes sometimes get like really dry and feel salty? Ugh! Still no fights in the vents, which I guess is for a reason. I am running low on ammo. Did I say I was running low on ammo? I meant I'm running low on shotguns. I need two, you know, like... I guess this is like their way to justify the increase in difficulty. Is this thing frowning at me? Don't you frown, baby! I know thing but a chicken wing. It's from the Martians, and its function is to kill the cyber demon. Jeez! Have you ever played a Doom game? So that thing heals me quite effectively, really. Do 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 Why the fuck am I using my assault rifle? I have my shotgun back. Like every clever man knows, shotgun rains where it's at. Although that was definitely not a shotgun situation, I should have pulled out my grenades and tossed one at his face. Shotgun pain. Some see shotguns, others see the pain. I need to build up my fucking ammo to stock it again. I hate that. Yay, someone's playing Team Fortress 2. It's a Christmas miracle. That someone plays Team Fortress 2? It's a pretty popular game. Nobody plays Team Fortress 1, you know. Well, I guess that's true, but... That doesn't change the fact that a lot of people also play Team Fortress 2. You just said also. That implicates that Team Fortress 1 is well played. Sorry, I'm a bit on edge because I don't want to face another one of those chain gun guns and get my ass blown up. Still alive. Hey, Swan! Looks like you might be on your own. 
No. Sarge is gone. They've got to him. Give me I a kiss. How long he's been working against us? Uh, he's no longer human. <gasps> Campbell went after him. He's got to be stopped. <laughs> You'll be all right. Hell is breaking through in the caverns. If that portal isn't closed before those ships arrive, Earth will be destroyed. Earth. <coughs> That's what they've always wanted. They were there once. Lost it in the dawn of time. Now it's so close. I can taste it. It's up to you now. <laughs> Take my PDA. It's got what you need. Good luck. I'm too beat up. I'll slow you down. I'll try to make it out on my own. It's up to you now. I'll try to make it out on my own. I can't leave you like this, Swan. CPU complex. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 15th, 2145. This entire research facility is in chaos. There's at least a 90% death rate among civilian personnel. Whatever Betruger unleashed is literally consuming the base. People have been turned into some sort of undead creatures that are relentless. Campbell and I are making our way towards the communications facility. We must stop all communications. If a distress call leaves the base, then everyone here and on Earth is doomed. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 16, 2145. Campbell and I were unable to reach the main portal in the Delta Complex, but that portal may be inconsequential to a more disturbing discovery. We have uncovered reference to another portal, created by the demons themselves, a passageway between Hell and Mars. We suspect it resides within the cavern somewhere near the archaeological dig. The fleet is on its way. Campbell and I will attempt to move there and somehow either shut it down or destroy it. That... that... hellhole must be closed before the fleet arrives. Suffering and pain waits for you. That's interesting. Picking up some ammo. That was not a smart plan. Help! As I said, the Soul Cube is justification for all this bullshit. Fuck you developers, really. Who the fuck is Bruce Jackson? Five seven one. So it just fully heals, regardless of any... Well, that's okay, I guess. I'm not a naysayer. I'm a man. Sacrificial portals. Really? Oh wow, they corrupted the entire system. That's sexy. Virgin blood is best. Goat blood must be no older than three days. Entrails must be removed and appointed either before death 
or no later than 30 minutes and a poor <laughs> candles must be sorted by the tallest in the back and the shortest in the front never the other way around most important the pentagon is in the center <sighs> left oh. that's that's gonna help me I really needed a few pointers on how to set up my own sacrificial portal so if you guys want to start your sacrificial portal, don't forget those crucial little pointers brought to you by the UAC computers. <laughs> oh, that's just so wrong. But it's kind of cool that they put a detail like that in. It's a very sexy detail. You know, virgin blood. Because somehow copulating just ruins the quality. In fact, using the word copulating ruins everything. Because it may or may not mean sex. It's that guy, he's walking with the BFG, he's about to get killed. Where are you hiding? You know, for a man with a BFG, you're way too caref careful. In a musical, yeah, in a musical. Fuck you, Imp. I missed you, man. You have no fucking idea how much I missed an easy enemy. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah! Can I get one more oh hell yeah for my friends? Oh hell <coughs> Sorry about that one. Oh. So, oh wow. That's pretty cool that they put like an extra one in just in case you don't have enough armor. You're on a musical. <laughs> His ear just fell over. Shotgun shells. I need a shotgun and I need some shells. That's good to hear, Sarge. We'll figure this out. Thou shalt not copulate! This is madness. This is tomfoolery! Well, the pistol ammo. Well, I guess for the trites. The fuck's the maintenance storage hatch that then?
Yoink. Tony Bates. This is the audio log for Tony Bates, Mars Security IT Division, September 25th, 2145. I spent Penis the last size. four hours going through the code for the door systems here in Central Processing. This is proving to be a real bitch of a glitch to work out. I've traced through every system I could think of, and access to Lab A continues to be problematic for the time being. This is the audio... This is the audio off. log for Tony Bates, Mars Security IT Division, September 25th, 2145. I spent the last four hours going through the code for the door systems here in Central Processing. This is proving to be a real bitch of a glitch to work out. I've traced through every system I could think of, and access to Lab A continues to be problematic for the time being. All the regular access codes seem to be working fine, but the database will not allow access rights to be granted to new visitors. In the meantime, I'm adding a backdoor code into the systems for IT staff and the eggheads, so if they need access to Lab A while the systems are on the fritz, they can use the code 627 to bypass door security. End of log. This is the audio log for Tony Bates, Mars Security IT Division, October 15th, 2145. I resume my investigation in case A-10982, the systems intrusion that took place in the CPU complex yesterday. All network traces seem to originate from an old system located in Site 2, Office S2-038. What is truly troubling is that engineering informs me electrical systems have been offline in that section for years and were only reactivated this morning in order to prepare more storage space. I'm completely stumped on this one. How does a hack originate from a section of the base that has been out of commission for so long? I will make another report once I have personally investigated the suspect office in Site 2. End of log. 627 That was great Fuck you, cherub. <laughs> Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, this is not justifying shit anymore. I guess there's a soul cube supposed to heal me, but if you're just gonna toss a lot of enemies at me just so I can keep using it. Uh. gonna fucking giggle do it in your own time I don't like any of this the game is just degraded to uh, from a uh, Call it. Oh, fantastic. The game's degraded from be good and aim well to, you know, pick the right moment to use your show cube, dude.
You know, the baby part's scarier than the insect part to me. Babies are scary as shit, man. All they do is eat and sleep and eat and sleep and eat and sleep. Fuck you. Fuck this shit, man. You know, Doom 3 started out real fun, but now the game's just being a dick. I don't like this. It's just tedious. It's really just tedious. The game just legitimately says you have to deal with this. Come on. Oh yeah, I went upstairs for some reason. Where you at, babies? We got fucking shotgun for ya. Cherub shit. Well, this one is probably collecting armor shards, like one collects baseball cards. Hell yeah! That was, by the way, an MLG Pro legit strategy that you should only use in case you are a Doom Champion. At the speed of light, defend the now. Team Rocket's Rocket. Fuck you, fuck you. Why the fuck did I pull out the soul cube? Oh yeah, X is shotgun. And F is this thing. X is shotgun. E is chainsaw. So I went to chainsaw, then I put it rolled down, which caused me to select the soul cube. I get it, I get it. It's all my fault, it's all my fault. Thank you for the ammunition. So, did all the imps go to a better place or something? Because I'm missing a lot of these guys. I'm missing back when it was just you and me and some trites. Having a good time, having some shock and rain every now and then. I gave him way too much fucking time to do his thing. But I missed it.
Really, 69? Give me a moment. 